Hi guys. It is a hot, sticky summer night here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas. This is the hot, sticky summer night of Monday, December 26th, 2016. This is Sancho Panza enjoying an ice cold apple cider to uh, get the sweat off his brow. It, I think it was 85 degrees today. It's now 10 o'clock at night. I'm still sitting here barefooted in my beach clothes with the screen door open, swatting mosquitoes. But anyway, I'm, uh, this is your old depressed collapsitarian with a rare bit of good news here in the end times, the day after Christmas. Uh, this is like part two of my video about a depressed collapsitarian gets an emotional support animal. I want to tell everyone that it is now official. It is now official. Sancho Panza is my emotional support animal. And uh, so I finally, it was, good Lord, it was about a month ago, I decided I was going to make Sancho my emotional support animal. And it has come through from, this is from Dr. Lisa Isaac. Dr. Lisa Isaac from uh, EmotionalPetSupport.com. And she is going to share the good news with me and Sancho Panza. After reviewing, oh, thank you for submitting your online exam. We're going to get to the online exam I submitted here uh, earlier. Uh, after, we'll get to that in a minute. After reviewing your submission, I have decided to approve your request for an emotional support animal letter. All right. Yes. Please find attach your ESA PDF and check for any mistakes. All right, uh, let's go. It has finally happened. This only cost me $102. 100. And if you are doing this, guys, I do, so, I do recommend this one. Uh, this is EmotionalPetSupport.com. I will uh, give them five stars. Uh, it seems to be as cheap as anyone, and it's pretty good. And this is a clinical psychologist, Lisa Isaac, Ph.D. Uh, you have to fill out your, uh, your online psychological exam, which we will go over in a minute. If you, and, of course, send in a, $102.00. Uh, and you will get this letter. Okay. To whom it may concern, Hambone Littletail is under my care for a mental health condition. I am familiar with Hambone's history. She's known me. Uh, you understand, uh, Lisa has never met me in her entire life. This entire scam is based on me answering this, this uh, exam, this psychological <laughs> exam. <laughs> Sato is just celebrating the fact that he is my emotional, <laughs> my emotional support animal. Yes, we know, we know you are my emotional support animal. Where was I? If you would let me read this letter. Okay. Uh, I am familiar uh, with, with Mr. Littletail's history and with the functional limitations imposed by his emotional and mental health issue. <clears throat> Mr. Littletail meets the definition of disability under the Americans with Disability Act. There you go. Due to this disability and mental health condition, Mr. Littletail is qualified to have an emotional support animal. There you go. 
under Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, Sancho Panza is going to rehabilitate me from being a depressed collapsitarian. How could anybody be a depressed collapsitarian with this little bundle of love? You know, look, look at this little dog. How could anybody? Michael Rupert would be alive today. Patches, I guess Patches just didn't have what it took to keep, uh, to keep brother Michael alive. Uh, it's too bad uh, Michael Rupert didn't meet Sancho Panza, or he might still be alive today. Okay. The available data. Okay, you, you understand that the available data is this little uh, is this little quiz, this little psychological exam we're getting ready to go over. The available data indicates that Mr. Littletail's emotional distress substantially limits one or more major life activities and is imposed by his emotional distress as defined by the DSM-5. Due to his emotional disability, Mr. Littletail, Mr. Littletail has certain limitations related to social interactions, coping with stress, and anxiety. In order to help alleviate these difficulties and to in his and to enhance Mr. Littletail's ability to function independently. I am recommending an emotional support animal that will assist Mr. Little to Hell in coping with his disability. Yes, the presence of this animal, the presence of this animal is necessary for Mr. Little Tail's emotional health and to mitigate the symptoms he is currently experiencing name of pet Sancho Panza. Sancho Panza is the name of my pet. I am licensed by the state of Texas. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so what was that letter based on? How does Dr. Lisa what does Dr. Lisa know about me? Okay, so this is the uh, other, along with my credit card payment of $102, uh, I had to answer, I had to take a 25 question test. And so for, for each of these, you, you have a choice between never, rarely, sometimes, usually, and always. I just figured it was probably best. I just answered every one of these questions usually. Usually. Okay. This was what I had to answer to get Sancho Panza prescribed to me as my emotional support animal. Number one, I am under high levels of stress, usually. I feel overwhelmed by my current life circumstances. Number three, I find myself feeling discouraged and pessimistic about my future. Yeah. My future, Sancho Panza's future, and uh, the planet's future. Yes. Okay. I find myself depressed and or saddened by my current life circumstances. Number five, I feel beat down and burnt out by my current life circumstances. Good Lord, this little alky dog. Man, 
he likes these apple ciders, these angry orchard apple ciders. I did not realize uh, Sancho Panza was such a little apple cider fiend. Okay, I feel unhappy in my current life circumstances. I guess this is different than question four. I feel depressed and or saddened. Number seven, I find myself worrying about my future, my finances, or my family. Number eight, I feel frustrated and uneasy in my current life circumstances. Number ten, no, number nine, I feel burdened burdened by my current life circumstances. Number 10, I find myself tense and uptight in my current life circumstances. Number 11, my stress level is interfering with my work. Now, this is where I did answer rarely. I mean, it's my stress level that is my work. I would not be what I am. I would not be a depressed collapsitarian and everything else I am uh, if it wasn't for my stress level. So that got a rarely. Number 12, my stress level is interfering with my sleep and that got it always. Number 13, my stress level is interfering with my ability to focus and concentrate on what I have to do. Perhaps this is the reason it took me one month to do this, which took 10 minutes of my time. Uh, how about this one? I turn to alcohol. I turn to alcohol comfort foods, otherwise known as chocolate-covered almonds. I turn to alcohol, comfort foods, or drugs to comfort me in my current life circumstances. <clears throat> I am finding that anxiety and restlessness are disrupting my everyday lifestyle. There you go. I, I once read from the birthday book that uh, the September 22nd people are people of the restless drive. I find myself irritable and impatient. Irritable and impatient? in my current life circumstances. 17, do you find yourself lonely in your current life situation? Do you find yourself, how could you be lonely? How could I ever be lonely with, with this little, this, the, <laughs> with this little creature in my life? Good Lord. Yes, little dog, you little alky. Number 18, do you wish you had more and deeper emotional support systems? How could I have any deeper <laughs> emotional support system than my little emotional support animal? Number 19, does your stress, stress level interfere with your communication with your loved ones, friends, or co-workers. 20. I am subject to outburst mood swings or periods of negativity in my current life circumstances. What do you guys think? Am I subject to periods of negativity? 
periods of negativity, yes, at least, uh, at least once a day during my rants, periods of negativity. Okay. Now, these next three. In the past few weeks, have you wished you were dead? Or have you felt that you or your family would be better off if you were dead? And then in parentheses, a doctor might contact you if you answer yes to this question. So, obviously, you take a wild guess, even though the answer to the question is yes, I have wished I were dead in the past few weeks. Clearly, I answered that with no, as I did with, in the past week, have you been having thoughts about killing yourself? Doctor might contact you if you answer yes. And have you ever tried to kill yourself? Doctor might contact you if you answer yes. And the answer to that question, honestly, is no. Uh, I have never tried to kill myself. Uh, I will never be able to read that question. If I ever try to kill myself, you, you have my assurance that I will succeed the first time I try. But anyway, so then we have, a, we have an essay question. Which life events have caused you significant stress this year? meaning in 2016, please explain these life events in detail. Okay. I am a depressed collapsitarian, a doomsday prophet, an environmental alarmist, and the chronicler of the long overdue collapse and fall of global industrial civilization. Even before Donald Trump was elected president, I had pulled my head out of my ass and figured out that, all caps, we are so fucked. And 99.9% .9 of the clueless fucking morons on this planet are unaware or at least totally unconcerned about this fact. I feel that Sancho Panza is the only one who understands me, though sometimes even he seems more concerned about sniffing the cat's ass than he does about the imminent collapse of planet Earth. I hope that explains things. So I sent that off to Lisa with my $102 payment and about four hours later I got the letter yes that he is that Lisa is familiar with my history there you go, and with the functional limitations opposed by my mental health issue. And she is recommending Sancho Panza to assist Mr. Littletail in coping with his disability. There you go. Just letting you know that all is not lost in the end times, that your old depressed collapsitarian has Sancho Panza, a thing of chocolate covered almonds, a cold apple cider, and of course a baggie of weed to get me through one more night alone in the end times in the sweltering December night Bye, guys. You're going to say bye to the people. Say goodbye.
Mm, så kan folk blive sat til mig, du kommer til ud i akkerne, når du gør det, det, det pop, at jeg kan ikke sige det mig, because I need to come emotionally support you. I need to emotionally support you in your delicate position. <laughs> oh, Lord. Is he my emotional support animal, or, or am I his emotional support person? Say bye to the folks.